Um, Ty, Brennan, Desiree, thank you. Is live this morning. Ty, you're at Twig and Lace, and they're, they're doing something pretty cool with keychains. Is that right? They are. There is so much cool stuff. I've just been going through all of our stuff because they're so funny. Michelle, you have a, you must have a very good sense of humor. I like to think so. No, yeah. I think you do. <laughs> you do. We are here at uh, your workshop. Twig and Lace mm -hmm. is the name of your company. Talk about how you kind of came up with this because this is hilarious. Well, I was a stay-at-home mom, and I was looking for something to make extra income while being at home. So I've always been creative, and I got the idea of stamping. So I went and got just the basic essentials started stamping, quit about a hundred times because it's super hard to do, <laughs> and then just started making snarky and fun things for mostly moms, but it's kind of developed into more since then. So Let's talk about that. What has kind of been the response when you find, first kind of put it out there? Um, the response was great. I was doing jewelry to start, but then once I started making keychains and putting snarky, sassy things on them, I got a lot of response from that. A lot of moms relate to a lot of the things that I make. Let, so. me, let me just go over a couple of these because these are so funny. Hold on. Let me find the one that I was looking at. I like don't donut judge me. I need that one as I go to the gym. Crazy cactus lady. There's all sorts of just how do you first of all come up with these things? Um, it's a mixture of things. I go on Pinterest. I think of it myself. My husband actually comes up with really good dog sayings for our dog tags. He's kind of the mastermind behind those, but kind of a little bit of everything. You hear it somewhere and you decide to stamp it, you know? So I was, th these caught my eye. The uh, drink stirs. Yes. This one's funny. If you have teachers or all the moms probably and dads out mm -hmm. there that have been doing homeschooling, yeah. it says because kids, <laughs> yes. period, which I like. And then this one, this one just kind of sums up all of 2020 a little yes, bit. Yes, 2020. Ugh. That's the 2020 stir for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. just ugh. I love that. <laughs> um, so you you talked about how you got started with this, but you mm -hmm. said you hand stamp yes. each individual letter. Every single letter is hand stamped by me only. So I probably have stamped over a million letters, probably more than that. Just you, you have all your fingers still intact? I do. They're never <laughs> this clean, though. I will say that um, usually they're covered in ink and everything. But yeah, I stamp every single letter myself. So, so. we're obviously talking because Mother's Day is coming up right around the corner. These are great Mother's Day gifts, yes. but you've talked about the teachers as well. Yes. Do folks need to, can they get on their website to order? And you also are kind of doing something a little special with maybe some uh, monogram type stuff. Yes. So I have a website and I also am on Etsy and I'm doing something special for Mother's Day. I have skinny cups that I am personalizing with dates, names, um, fun phrases for moms. So I'm going to put that up on my website today so you can order those. That is so, so yeah. fantastic. And I love the teacher ones too, because you, everybody needs, especially these teachers yep. coming back after yep. such a tumultuous year. Absolutely. They need a little something yep. special as well. Yep. I love this. All right. Um, so coming back, do you think you can teach me to stamp a I couple? I think I can teach you to stamp or at least show you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Maybe that's better. <laughs> you show me. You can make your own keychain. Yeah. There you go. I don't know what. I got to keep it clean. I got to keep it. Oh, hold on. We, they want to see the cuffs. Oh, okay. We got to show the cuffs. So this one has like, oh, that's cool. Like the birth date, right? Mm -hmm. That's very popular there. We've got the names on here. Now, this looks so intricate and small. Mm -hmm. That's my <laughs> smallest font. You can't go any smaller than that. But yeah, that's my smallest font, and I can fit a lot on there. So. And you can you can stack them, right? Yes. Sure. Model, model for us, Michelle. Yes. Show I us have this. the smallest wrist in history, but yes, um, these are stainless steel, so they're nice and durable, and you just squeeze it over your wrist. There you go. Yeah. I love so this. So you can wear mixed metals. Kind That's of kind of a rage, like. right? Totally, or with your eye watch, or what's it called, an Apple Watch? Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> Something um, like that. So yeah, you can just stack them. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, we talked about that. You're also at a lot of markets, yes. farmers markets as well. Um, well, markets have kind of ended for the season for me, but I'm in a lot of retail stores in the valley, so East Valley, West Valley, Central, everywhere. So. Okay. All right. Well, so stick around. Michelle's going to teach me. Maybe I'll just let you okay. show me. She's <laughs> okay. going to show me we'll how she individually stamps it. Did you hear her say that she's probably stamped yes. a million letters since she started this business? That is incredible mm -hmm. to me. All hand stamped. Yes. A lot of work. And she has and all love ten fingers. So that's a good thing, Ty. All ten You're fingers right are still functioning. That's the, that's the best part. Yes. <laughs> that is true. Very true. <laughs> AZAM is back. 851. Ty is back now. Uh, so I'm interested to see how she does this, Ty, because I do like these products. Is, is it a, is it a, a, a hammer? Is it a stamp? I mean, when, how do you stamp? How does one stamp? It, well, that is, those are the, all the questions we are going to ask or answer for you, Troy, because I had the exact same ones. Because if you look at this, first of all, is this not very apropos for like what we do? Breaking news. 
nobody cares. <laughs> but look how perfectly aligned that is. And so I was like, well, do you, how do you do that? So she's going to show us. How do you do this, Michelle? Um, lots of practice. So I'm going to do it instead of you. I yeah, think I think because so I don't want to ruin anything. I will show you guys. Um, I'm left handed. So I'm over here. I basically, excuse the noise. I don't know how loud it's going to be when I do it. It's but I fine. basically line it up, single tap, and it makes the impression. So. And you just do one little one, hit like that? Yeah, one hit. Depends on if I have a... I've never done this live, so pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, have you ever spelled something wrong? I have. I've actually tried talking and stamping and gotten it completely wrong, so I tried to pick something very easy to stamp right now. But it's basically one hit. It's not super hard. Um, this is aluminum, though, so it's a softer metal. When I do my harder metals, I might have to hit it twice, but... And then, Michelle, I noticed that like the, there's like the shading inside. It's a little bit darker. Do you have to rub that with yes, something? Yes, I have two. I have a patina process. It's two steps. Um, it takes about about an hour to get through that process, and then I buff it up. So basically, there's a whole second process to this. This is just the initial stamping to get the actual impression in there. So, so let's talk like something like this, where it mm -hmm. has multiple lines of text. How long does something like this take you? The whole process for just one? Um, I would say probably. 10 minutes maybe for the whole process yeah. but for stamping if I have everything lined up in like a list I can get through a lot and you're doing quickly. this all by hand all by hand every single letter you know I was looking at the prices <laughs> I think you need to raise um, these prices I Michelle. agree with you I don't know if the audience <laughs> will but I agree with you no, this but is yeah, fantastic. it's a lot of work but it's fun it's creative and I get to do different sayings and different mediums and I can always grow with this so it's really fun let's talk about this because we were we were talking about these okay. a few minutes ago but this is kind of what you're doing for Mother's Day yes. you can do the kids names Yep. You can do their birth dates. You mm -hmm. can do a little saying, that Absolutely. kind of stuff. Yep. What's the best way that folks can get a hold of you? I am going to list these today on my website. So I have a website, www.twigandlace.com. So you can go on there. And if you have any questions, I have Instagram and email. So if you're looking for some suggestions or maybe what might look good or which metals, you can always email me so I get back to you really quickly. So I love that. Yeah. Shopping local, supporting local. Your money stays right here in the community. Yep. And you have such a wide range. we got the the, the keychains. Mm -hmm. We've got more keychains, more keychains. You got the drink openers here, and then these are awesome too. These are for your dog. Dog tags, yeah. Hold on, what's this one say? I escaped. Mwahaha ha ha ha. <laughs> that sounds like my dog right there. And then the bracelets, and then of course the coffee. And the beverage, the adult yes. beverage yes. stir sticks. You've got everything covered, and I love how snarky you are because everybody loves a good <laughs> snarky saying on all these. Michelle, thank you for thank letting you. us infiltrate your, your beautiful at-home workspace to show us how this is done. We're going to put all of Michelle's info so you can get a hold of her on our website. Just head on over to fox10phoenix.com. But this... My new saying. That's going home with you. That's going home with you. Breaking news, who cares? I'll Venmo you. <laughs> yeah, breaking news, nobody cares. Oh, no, breaking news, nobody cares. All right. Thanks, Ty. Yeah. I love that. That's yeah. my motto. Look at that whole business she's got going there.